David Smith's ex-wife Susan was convicted of murdering their two boys, three-year-old Michael and 14-month-old Alex. She apparently strapped them into their car and rolled it into the lake, drowning their children inside. They were there for nine days, during which time Susan lied. She lied to her husband. She lied to her no lied to the entire nation about what really happened. Watch. I would like to, to say to whoever has my children that they please, I mean, please bring them home. Susan Smith has been arrested and will be charged with two counts of murder in connection with the deaths of her children. The death penalty wasn't wasn't the verdict. The jury, again, we respect that they made they took the testimony among themselves and they came back with the verdict of life. David Smith is with us as well. We are rejoined by attorney Lisa Bloom. She is the author of Think. Now, David, I uh, apologize for dragging you through all this again. I hope you're okay with this. But I am. Thank you. Okay. What was it like? You know, we're now all of us are focused on the Anthony's and their family at the center of this media scrutiny. What was that like when you were going through it? It's very uh, stressful. Um, it's it's very emotionally draining. Were, were you ever the subject of scrutiny? Would they did they try to put any blame over onto you the way they're doing with George Anthony? Um, some at first they did a little, but not not very much. And, and then to to be lied to by your wife so let's call it vividly so so, so unabashedly. Right. How do you make sense of that? What? How did you? You know, to me, that's just baffling. It just sort of you have to shake your head. You still feel like that, or does it make sense now? Oh no, it, I still don't understand today any more than I did then. I mean, you know, Susan was the last person I thought would have ever, you know, harmed Michael and Alex. Well, that, that's my question. Was there evidence? I mean, there's a lot of similarities between Susan and Casey, right? Do, yes. do you see those similarities? I see some of them. Well, why don't you share with me what you see as the similarities? Well, the uh, partying, you know. Susan was doing a lot of partying there towards the end. Um, and she, was, she actually had, was having an affair or something, right? Is that true? Yes, that's correct. And, and so sure. Casey, same thing, partying, lying, partying, lying. Lies, correct. lies, lies seem to be at the center of all this. Okay. Correct. Right. But before that, did she show any evidence of, did she hurt anybody before that? Did she lie repeatedly before that? Was she using drugs and alcohol before things unraveled? Dr. Drew, there, was, there, were, there weren't any signs. I, there was nothing that I could have seen, that I saw, that would have led me to think she would have ever done what she did. She was a great mother up to the moment that she killed Michael. Well, there's another similarity with what they're saying about Casey, potentially, interestingly. Is, 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 do you talk to her now, Susan? No, I don't. Do, do you, does anyone that do, that do speak with her, does she have any insight into what happened? Does she, do you know? I don't know of anybody who has talked to her, you, spoken with her. Is your sense that she's just a psychopath or a sociopath and really had no feelings, at least in that moment? I think she was just, yeah, I mean, she was very selfish. Um, you know, but she, selfish to the point of killing children is, is something specially, I mean, to use, you need a special word for that. Selfish doesn't quite apply. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, Lisa, let me ask you, you, you deal with criminals, mm -hmm. and this is really what we're talking about here. I mean, we, we toss around a lot of terminology when people discuss Casey Anthony, talk about sociopath, psychopath, mm -hmm. name psychopath, that's all just come up in here in reference to Susan. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, we're talking about criminals. We're talking and, about people who don't have a conscience, right? You that, or I might think yeah. evil thoughts, but we don't act on it. Something stops us, and that something is our conscience. Well, in, in, in my world, we think of that as the ability to appreciate that other people have feelings and agency. Other people exist. Right. Compa Passion for other Compassion. people. Compassion. Right. And, and what's strange to me is that in Casey and Susan's case, it looked like it seemed to people around them, you're, you're, you're smiling a little bit, it seemed like she had compassion. At, yeah, at you, first, when you married her, right. that's what you thought. Right, absolutely. You thought this is a woman who could love me. It felt like love. Yes. And someone that was, you know, a very caring, uh, loving mother. All that. And there's another similarity, too, which is both of these women were willing to pin the blame on someone else. In Susan Smith's case, some mysterious black guy. Yes. Right? And in Casey Anthony's case, the Hispanic nanny, Zenaida, and, who and, and never let, existed. Let me just express a little. I, I, this is I, a separate from the outrage I have at, at the ch mother killing children, which is that, again, unravels our sense of reality. But 
anybody want to have a little disgust for blaming people with darker skin or blaming people with certain profile, whatever? I mean, that's disgusting. That, that, and not enough is made of that, I, I think. Absolutely. Okay, it is. so let's, let's, let's point that out as yet another issue in Casey's case that is just disgusting. Oh, my goodness. I hear I am.